We are now going to work on editing a smart filter. With all the layers in position, you can further refine the eye openings and experiment with the bulges in the eyebrows. You're going to return to the liquefied filter to make those adjustments. So in the layers panel, we're going to double click over here where it says liquefy. And that opens up this dialog box that we used before. This time all the layers are visible in Photoshop, so when you when you when so when show backdrop is selected, you'll see them all. Sometimes it's easier to make changes without a backdrop to distract you. Other times it's useful to see the edits in your context. So zoom in to see the eyes more closely. Let's get to where we can see this face, this lovely, beautiful face. There you go. We're going to select the Pucker tool in the Tools panel. Right there, Pucker tool. And then we're going to click on the outer corner of each eye. How that brought them in. Ooh. If you just if you do something and you don't like what you did, remember you can just do Command Z or Control Z. So get busy working on that as you see fit. And then we're going to select the Bloat tool. Bloat tool. That's this bad boy right here. And then you can go up here and you can expand, make his eyebrows, do stuff. You can change the appearance of his mouth. Some of y'all girls might want to make his lips puckered like y'all. You know how when you take your selfies and you got those duck lips? So if you want your Frankenstein to have duck lips, go for it. I want to see if you can do it. I still don't understand why girls do that, but they do. So remember, you can also change the brush size and other settings up here if you want to. Uh, so just experiment it, experiment with it, and customize the monster's face until you're happy with it. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and just click OK. We are now going to work on painting a layer. There are many ways to paint objects and layers in Photoshop. One of the simplest is to use the color blending mode in the, and the brush tool. We're going to use this method to paint the exposed skin green on our monster. So select the Franken layer in the layers panel. And then we're going to click create a new layer button. That little, why is mine doing all these things? So I now have a layer one with, and with that layer selected, choose color from the blending mode. Um, I'm in mouse issues. Color right here. The color blending mode combines the luminance of the base color, which is the color that's already on the layer, with the hue and saturation of the color we're applying. It's a good blending mode to use when you're coloring monochrome images or tinting color images. In the tools panel, select the brush tool. In the options bar, select a 60 pixel brush. with a hardness of zero, so drag that down to zero. Hold down the Alt or the Option. If you're on a Mac, you'll be Alt. If you're on a uh, uh, Windows is Alt, Mac is Option. And you'll see that it changes to an eyedropper tool. And then click somewhere on the forehead to select a green sample. Then you can release the Alt or the Option key to return to the brush tool. The sample color becomes the new foreground color you see right over here and it's loaded into your brush tool. So now that's the color. Let me ask you this while I'm thinking about it. Which liquefied tool moves pixels towards the center of the brush as you click? 
Was it the gather tool, the pucker tool, the circle tool, or the backwards warp tool? It was the pucker tool, and we just did that. All right, so if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to hold down the control. If you're on a Mac computer, you'll hold down the command, and you're going to click the thumbnail and the Franken layer. And that will select its contents. Notice that a selection marquee appears around the layer. So you can see everything in this layer is, is selected. I need to... I want to be able to see all the way over to the edge of mine. All right. Um, usually you select an entire layer in the layers panel. When you do that, the layer is active, but there isn't actually an active selection. When you control click on Windows or command click on a Mac like we did in the thumbnail of the layer, Photoshop selects the contents of the layer so you have an active selection. It's a quick way to select all the contents of a layer, but without the transparent areas. Make sure layer one is still selected over here in your layers panel. And then with the brush tool, you're going to paint over the hands and arms. You can paint quickly where the hands are against the transparent areas because painting outside the selection has no effect. However, remember that the shirt is part of the selection so you can paint the skin close to the shirt color. Take care to paint only the skin and not the shirt. So we're just going to paint, 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 paint. Paint, paint. See, I'm not worried about going outside the lines because it's over the transparent, so it does not matter. But when I get down close to the shirt, I need to make sure that I don't paint my shirt. You might want to just do some... The good thing about it, if you let off on the mouse, and if you go over the shirt, all you got to do is do control Z or command Z. Because if you've been doing the whole thing and then you go into the shirt and you do control Z or command Z, then you lose everything. So get the hand. So that hand is done. So now I'm going to go over to this hand. Isn't this fun? It's the most fun I've ever had today. Painting a Frankenstein hands green. Doesn't have to be perfect. Get it the best you can. It's all we can ask. There are no participation trophies in Photoshop. And then you can go back up here to the face if there's some places that are still skin texture and you want them to be the green color you can do that so he's more i don't know what the word would be greenish once you are happy with all of yours and remember i, I didn't do this but as we were doing this if you wanted a bigger brush to make it easier to do this the button that's right above the return key is or to the right of the p on your keyboard makes it bigger and smaller so you could the bracket keys are what do that so once you're happy with your green skin you can choose select deselect or you can do command d or control d so the color blending mode combines what of a base color with the hue and saturation of a different color? It is luminance. You might see that again. So this would be a great time to click file and then save.